This content has been deemed inappropriate for children under 13. Viewer discretion is advised. This is for adults only. Adult collectibles. What's up you guys? This is Zach Jet Dan back with another Every Silver Hawks video. This time we're going to be talking about the history of the cartoons, the comics, the action figures, and everything. So in the comics, there was only seven comics ever made. They were published by Marvel Comics back from August 87 to August 88. And there's the titles of each one of them. And here's the picture of each of them. For Silverhawks, uh, the only other merchandise that I could find out there were some puffy stickers. Coloring books, lunchbox, toothbrush, and some Viewmasters. So the main Silverhawks were Commander Stargazer, Quicksilver with Tallyhawk, Bluegrass and Sideman, Steelheart and Razor, Steelwheel and Stronghold, and the Copper Kid with Mayday. So as I go through this list, I'm not going to read the entire bios, but if you want to pause the video and read it yourself, that'd be great. Silverhawks was a pretty cool cartoon back in the day. I loved it. Actually, I owned the comics myself. I uh, sold them all, of course, way back when. Didn't know that they were going to be just the seven that they had. And the action figures were different at the time. You know, you didn't have a lot of things that had this kind of action to them. and um, had this metallic look to them. And here's kind of a picture of all of this entire series that they had for the, uh, for the toys on cards and in boxes. And here they are all are loose pretty much. Here's the good guys. So for the television show that spanned uh, several seasons, I guess, here's the first 20 episodes if you want to pause it and read over them. Here's the next 40. And then up to 60. And then 65. There were 65 total. And went all the way till December 5th, 86. So we're starting off with the main silver hawks. We're going to go Commander Stargazer with his uh, bird Slybird, and he was of course the leader of the team. Here he is in on his card and loose to compare them all, and what he looked like in the television show. Next we got Quicksilver and Tallyhawk. He was the leader of the team uh, of the group of the guys out in the field. He had the ability to pull his mask down, and of course, uh, he had his bird tallyhawk. There's his bird. Here's the action figure on card and loose. And here's series two with an ultrasonic suit. And here's a giant playset type thing or, or vehicle type thing that was actually a tallyhawk tally uh, bird that you could kind of fly around and shoot missiles at people. And then he had his own little plane every, every so often um, called the Sprint Hawk. So he had that vehicle as well. Next we'll talk about Bluegrass and his uh, guitar Sideman or his bird Sideman. Uh, he was the pilot of the team. His guitar could actually shoot uh, music out of it whenever you play it. Or his cowboy hat and his bandana. And here's the side and blue, bluegrass and sideman in the figure form. His hat could come off, and of course, it had that hole on the top so that his head could stick through, I guess. 
And then Series 2 had the ultrasonic suit. Here is his plane or his shuttle or his jet, whatever you call it, Mirage. Had the ability to put each one of the Silverhawks in each shuttle or each pod and they could all separate. So next we'll talk about Steel Heart and her bird Razor. She is a twin with her brother Steel Wheel. They're the powerhouse of the team. Here's the twins together. They're masked down. And here's her figure, Steel Heart with Razor. And of course, here's her brother, Steel Wheel, and his bird stronghold. And again, he is the big guy, he's the muscle of the team. And they're twins. He can shoot lasers out of his shoulders like this. Looks like he's got a football helmet on whenever he's got his uh, shield down or his mask down. And here's his first figure, Series 1. And his ultrasonic, ultrasonic suit with a cannon for Series 2. And he had his bird stronghold also that came with a, uh, a vehicle type thing. That you could run around uh, fly around with similar to the other bird so then we're going to talk about the last uh, main silver hawk which was the copper kid and his bird mayday he was not able to talk he was from another planet of mimes uh, he used whistles and whatnot to talk through little discs of people and he was also at the very end of each episode um, taught lessons and taught how to fly the mirage here he is in his first toy. And here's a prototype of something they did not make, which was the copper racer. And the copper kit with laser discs uh, with his mask down. So their base of operation was the Hawk Haven. It orbited a, orbited a Earth type planet called Bed Bedlama. And like I said, here are the series. Series 1 was 87, Series 2 was 1988, and there's all the vehicles that were made. There's kind of the fold-out or the paper that you get to see for advertisement on what you should buy in the future. And so here is all of the figures that were in Series 2. So new Silverhawks and some villains. So some of the minor Silverhawks uh, or the additional Silverhawks were Hot Wing with Gyro, Flashback with Backlash, Moonstriker with Tailspin, and Condor with Jetstreams. So we're going to talk about them next. And again, pause it as you get to the bios if you want to read the whole thing. So with Hot Wing and Gyro, Looks like he's got some telekinesis type stuff or something going on with his, his powers. Because he's like a magician type, type guy. He showed up in Hot Wing Hits Limbo and was in several episodes after that. Here's him with his mask down and shooting his laser out of his head. And here's his action figure. Next, you got Flashback with Backlash. This is the green Silver Hawk. He was from the future, but came back in the past in the 29th century to help fight the villains. And again, he uh, he showed up in episode first episode called Flashback. And here is his action figure. Next we got Moonstriker and Tailspin. He's got the tornado ability. First showed up in Battle Cruiser episode.
Got the weird blonde hair. And here is his first action figure. And then last is Condor with Jetstream. Also introduced in that episode Battle Cruiser. He was a retired Silver Hawk who had been working as a private detective before being recalled into active service. And here's his action figure. Something I like about these newer action figures was they were giving them the ability to pull their mask down over their faces like the originals did not. So here we are this time talking about the main villains of the Silver Hawks. Moonstar with Sky Shadow and Skyrunner, Yes Man, Hardware with Prowler, Melodia, Windhammer, Molecular with Volchar, Volchor, whatever, Poker Face, Mumbo Jumbo with Air Shock, and Buzzsaw with Shredder. Now not all of these ended up getting figures. Looks like only five of these actually got action figures. So here's the leader of the villains, Moonstar, with Sky Shadow and Skyrunner. So he had two forms. He had his hairy form, and then he had his armored up form. And he is the kingpin of the Limbo Mob. Escaped from Penal Planet 10, where he was imprisoned. And when he looks upon the... Moon is where he gets his strength and transformation. I'm going to let you read the rest of this if you want to pause it. Other bio, bio information about him. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm missing Silverhawks these days. They've done all kinds of remakes of action figures like Thundercats and He-Man. And I think that the Silver Hawks deserve some love too. So here are the action figures that was made for him, or the action figure that was made for him. And it had the ability to transform. The armor was still there, it's just his head changed. And here is his pet, or his steed, whatever you want to call it. Skyrunner. And Skyrunner also had a action figure, pretty cool looking. And then here is Sky Shadow in a toy form, and it was actually a larger scale toy as well. Had the ability to grapple on one of the villains, hang on to a strand like a bat. So next, we're going to talk about Brimstar, which is the planet where Moonstar's mob operated. Uh, it was hollow, with stars' uh, quarters were inside it. This is where they all hung out, and it had the ability to see that moon. So his number one was Yes Man. This was not made in figure form. Would have been awesome if it was. Uh, he was the brains of the operation. Next, you got Hardware and Prowler. And there was an action figure made of him. Again, any of these bios you want to read, just pause it. I would have loved in the action figure form to have seen these cars that they flew around in but they did not make them. I think that'd be something great to see in the future as well if they actually start making these toys again. But here is the hardware action figure. Next, you have Melodia. And again, this is another one that was not made in action figure form. She had her guitar or whatever you want to call it, the keyboard. 
she was pretty cool in the, in in my opinion in the comics or in the uh, com uh, cartoons. Very similar to Bluegrass in the fact that he could play his guitar and she could play hers and they'd go against each other. And again, there's another car there, the green one, had the piano uh, symbols on the side, and her and Bluegrass kind of going against each other. Next, you have Windhammer. Windhammer also had a action figure made. And here that is. That came out in Series 2. Love those giant feet that he had. Really cool looking. And then we have Molecular and Voltar. Vulture, whatever. He had the ability to change shapes. And coming up here is his action figure. Next, you have Poker Face. Again, no action figure with this guy, but he ran the casino. His eyes would spin around like a... Uh, I can't remember what that machine's called, gambling. I don't gamble. Then we have Mumbo Jumbo and Air Shock, the strong man of the group. Looks like a bull, can breathe. You can see him always breathing that uh, smoke out of his nose. Here's his action figure. He had the ability to pop his neck out like he's going to attack you. And then you have Buzzsaw and Shredder. This one was one of the ones I actually owned. So I only had him and Bluegrass from what I remember. Here's that action figure. The jaw could go up and down. The bird would spin when you push his head in. So now we're going to go to minor characters, minor villains. This guy, this kid, his name is Time Stopper. He is the youngest member of the mob, and he could actually, uh, for a few minutes, stop time so that you could fight crime, fight fight against people, or, or rob people. Next, you have Dark Bird. He's an evil clone of Quicksilver. He appeared in Episode 6. Zero, the Memory Thief. He had these uh, tape recording things on his chest. Could steal your memory for a little bit. The episode 12 is where he showed up. Smiley, mummified boxer robot. He showed up in episode 33. Bounty Hunter showed up in episode 22. He's a bulldog looking guy. Muscular Monster. Then you have the clones of all the Silverhawks. Quicksilver, Bluegrass, Steel Heart, Steel Wheel, and Copper Kid. That was in episode 26. The mob created those clones. And goes against on a deadly mission uh, against Commander Stargazer. And last you have Rattler. And Rattler showed up in episode 63. He was the uncle of Yes Man and only appeared in this one episode. Had this really cool looking ship that he flew or worm or whatever you want to call it. So here we have the allies of the Silverhawks. Of course, these are minor characters, but the ally was General Rawlings. He was in the origin story and Hot Wing Hits Limbo. Next, you had Gamakin and his assistant nurse, Mavis. 
They were in the origin story and Hot Wing hits Limbo again, so the same as General Rawlings. Then you have Professor Power. He took care of the artificial son of Limbo. Provides daylight to the planets on the galaxy of Limbo. And then Sanders. Sanders was the governor of Bedlam, which is like an Earth type thing. Monotone was a computer of the planet Autom Automata. And Lord Cash. He was in charge of the planet Dolar that handled all the bank accounts for everybody in Limbo. So last is the third party members, or whatever you want to call them. First you had uh, Seymour the cabbie. He was one of the most popular. He, he was in a lot of episodes. He had a little buddy named Zeke the Beak. So his cab was always uh, used to take criminals places, but Stargazer told him that he couldn't do that anymore. So he started helping the Silverhawks out. So here is his little buddy, Zeke the Beak. Look like the little bird. And he always said, you want to buy a fish? Then you had Harry the bartender. He's a robot that worked at the, as a, in the fence, as a fence and a, and a bartender. Then you had the space bandit, Rhino and Cyclops. These three were outlaws from the fence. There's Rhino. And there's Cyclops. And then you have Grodd the Informer. He uh, showed up in episode 32. He was an informant for Moonstar. He gave him this rock. And this rock was called the Savior Stone. It was supposedly worth a fortune. And then last, you have Got Bucks. Scott Bucks was the Dolar's new security chief. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up. And check out my other every, every videos. And also top 10 lists. And I'll talk to you guys later.